Following Wednesday's fire, this facility was closed down and the next day it was reopened after 12 noon. Shortly after that, it was announced that the facility has to be closed down for three days to allow for further assessment. Now, after the management and the board had a meeting, they have also come out to say that it has to be closed down for one more week. This has been confirmed by the management to City News. But the traders here are saying that this will affect them badly. We are saying 53 shops or 54 shops out of over 7,000 shops have been affected, right? Have authorities really think about this closure? That there are people among us who deal in perishable goods and they even have expiring dates against their product. And even three days has affected them so much that the one week is going to affect them, going to have an adverse effect on them. Have they really thought about those of us who have stiff competitors all around k who are competing with us? So today, for the next 10 days, if my customer comes and doesn't come see me to buy from me and goes to my competitor, and that person even gives a 10 pesos discount, what it means I've lost that customer forever. On the day you open the market back, I'll have to start looking for customers fresh. My daily earnings, how do I end that? Will you pay me? Will you compensate me? When you open the market, are you going to have that boldness to still ask for service charge? Please, when they are thinking through certain decisions, they should add everybody, they should consider every party in that decision making. They shouldn't just sit down and say, oh, we've spoken to the structure people and they are working. We've given you four days. From Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you could have worked day and night to get this done with. As we speak, go to where the fire happened. Enter into k and see. No cleaning has even taken place. Irrespective of the decision that has been taken by the board and management of this facility that it should be closed down for one more week, the traders are insisting that they will come here and operate and engage in their usual activities. They will also be wearing some red bands to protest against that decision. They are also saying that they will take a legal action against the management and the board. So we've had meetings this morning and these are our decisions that we are taking. Tomorrow, all traders and transport operators are coming to work tomorrow in Kenya. We will come to work. And we are not coming just like that. We are coming, all of us will be clad in red bands. Whether hand bands or head bands, we will be clad in red bands. Tomorrow we are coming to work. This is the reason why we are saying that. They were asking for three days to do whatever they needed to do. Within the three days, we've not seen any work going on. That's it. The board itself, we do not know. When did they even realize that they needed to do something about KATR? When they've been sleeping all along. So when are you, when, when are you going to tell me, oh, on this day I'll open the market? Even when you give them one year, there's nothing they'll do. We are tired of this, this, these things they've been talking about. This problem was there for a long time ago. They never worked on it. It's not today that they want to buy time to cover up. They are ineptitude, they are incompetence, and they are sluggishness to respond to any problem in KTA. So are you still considering taking a legal action? For the legal action, we will surely take the legal action. We will follow the 33 and take even a stronger legal action against KCML, against the KME. That whatever compensation it is that we are supposed to get for traders, we will get it. We will follow it to the latter. If they do not want the legal space, if you do not want us to go and play it in the legal space, they should come down come and talk to us and let's reason together and find the best possible solutions. The traders here are calling on relevant stakeholders to ensure that all issues concerning the recent fire outbreak are resolved within the shortest possible time. For City News, I'm Edward Oponmafo, New KGTM Markets, Kumase.